Hey guys, even here and in this video we're gonna do something really interesting. We're gonna compare Hari Chopin through the years. So it's been a couple of days since he won the Arnold Classic and there was a lot of talk about how much he improved from the last year's Mr. Olympia which was basically only a couple of months ago. However, the progress was noticeable so I wanted to compare this version of Hadi to previous year's edition and then I want to go back in time and see how much progress he actually made through the years. The biggest improvement that Hadi made for the Arnold Classic here was his back. It looked better than ever before. It was harder, it was more detailed, and it was simply bigger, more developed than ever. And combined with this conditioning, it just looked great. It actually looked really good, especially for somebody who was so criticized earlier, especially the Mr. Olympia for having no back, basically. Also, his conditioning for this show was outstanding. Like, his midsection was ripped. His quads were super detailed, super shredded, he was truly peeled, he was really low in body fat percent and he was freaking rock hard, I mean look at this, look at the freaking details, through the midsection, through the chest, legs, this was, this was pretty crazy, right? Now we go back to 2023 where he lost the Mr. Olympia to Derek Lansford and I'm pretty sure you can see that this version of Hadi was not as good as the new one. His conditioning was definitely not quite as good. He was not as shredded as he was at the Arnold Classic. His midsection control is always pretty good, but at the Arnold it was just crazy. He basically had a vacuum all the time. I will say though that he was bigger at the Mr. Olympia. He was just a little bit bigger and fuller, but that's obviously because he didn't go for crazy conditioning. He went with a little bit more size, but look at the back right here. It looked so much better at the Arnold. I mean, you guys can tell me what you think. Is it only conditioning? Or did he actually make improvements? Because I think I see improvements. I feel like he was lacking a little bit in the lower lats here. And I think he made some improvements for the Arnold. It very well could be just the conditioning. Because usually everybody is holding the most amount of water and fat in their lower backs. So if you're not peeled enough, you're not going to show details in the lower back. So maybe he just came in more conditioned and then he seemed like he made improvements. But personally, I feel like he actually did make some improvements. But even if he didn't, the new version, the more conditioned version, I think would do much better than Mr. Olympia. Hani Rambot, who is actually coaching both of these guys, Derek and Hari, said that if Hari looked at the Mr. Olympia the way he looked at the Arnold Classic, he would have won that Mr. Olympia. So there you go. Alright, now let's go all the way back to 2019, one Coover Pro show, where Hadi showcased one of his best packages of all time. And a lot of people are comparing this version of Hadi to the new Arnold Classic version. And they're saying that this was the last time he was as conditioned as he was three days ago. And I wanted to check this physique out once again and to see how comparable this version of Hadi is to his today's version. And so as far as conditioning, yeah, like this conditioning was really freaking good. He was freaking rock hard here. I gotta say the lighting was really good and the background as well. So that's probably adding a little bit to it. But also he was legit peeled and freaking hard as well. Now, as far as muscularity, considering the fact that it's been five years since this show to the Arnold Classic, actually the size progress is not really that noticeable. If you pay close attention, you will notice that his back, I think, was smaller back then, and I think he actually got his legs bigger overall. I think arms, shoulders, and chest as well. I think he overall did grow some muscle but probably not as much as you would think as I would think in five years. However, also, he's really shredded and the lighting is really good, so it's hard to notice how big he really is until you see him compared to the other guys. I think it is much easier to notice the size progression in a lineup like this next to the other guys. Uh, Nathan Diash also made a lot of progress in the meantime, but I feel like if they stood one next to another today, the size difference would be different. I think Hari would look bigger next to Nathan. I don't know the numbers. I don't know how much weight Hari gained or didn't gain, but to me, he does look like a bigger man these days. Body part per body part, he didn't really make some crazy changes, but he grew overall. And I do think he made some changes in his back. 
I think especially his back double bicep looks better today than it did here. And here he was shredded, he was peeled, but his back just wasn't really good. And that was the point that I was trying to make. It's not only conditioning that made his back look so much better than the Arnold Classic, because he was peeled at Vancouver Pro as well, but his back did not look like this. He definitely added tissue in his lower lats, he definitely added details everywhere, his entire back is better, is improved, and that's for sure. Now, if you really want to see improvements that Hadi made over the years, we can go all the way back when he was competing in the IBB World Championships in a below 80 kilograms category, but that was way too long ago, we're not gonna go that much back in time, but we can go back to 2017 and San Marino Pro, where he competed against Cedric McMillan, Check this out, Hadi was always trying to get the angle to stand a little bit in front, but Cedric is not Samson, Cedric didn't allow this. He wouldn't let Hadi get the angle and look bigger than him, even if he's not. That's why we loved Cedric so much. And Cedric won this show, Hadi was still not good enough to be winning pro shows against these top guys. So the progression that he made from 2017 to 2019 was rather big. Here he looked good, he definitely looked good here as well. Even though Cedric won, everybody noticed Hadi. They didn't probably see him, you know, becoming the Mr. Olympia champion, because he was, you know, he was competing in 212, he was definitely, he is definitely a shorter, a smaller guy, but now, with the knowledge that we have, looking back, the potential was written all over him. Four years later, at the 2021 Mr. Olympia, a lot of people felt like Hadi deserved a victory at this show. He ended up in third, Big Ramy won barely, the next year Hadi won the show, by the way I'm sorry for the crazy light show in the background, this was before they realized this was super distracting and just, you know, it just made everything look horrible, uh, they changed that, thankfully it's not like this anymore, you can barely even see Hadi's physique, but yeah, in 2021 it was pretty good already and his conditioning was actually very good at this show, it was excellent, However, next year, 2022, when he won the Mr. Olympia, his conditioning was probably the worst I ever saw it on a bodybuilding stage. But at the same time, he was probably at his biggest and fullest. And I liked this version of Hadi. I felt like he definitely deserved that victory. Yeah, sure, he wasn't in his signature condition, he wasn't as hard as a rock as he usually is, but he was big, man, he was full. If he was more conditioned, I think this back would look much, much better. Check it out right here, when he hits the back double bicep. Like, the details were not there. The lower lats were not even separated from the erectors. It definitely wasn't a very good look from behind. Yeah, sure, he was full in the, in the traps and shoulders and, like, upper back, arms as well. In the back lat spread, he was really wide and just massive but the back didn't look very good, however, with his fullness and size, he looked, you know, his absolute biggest, and I think that's the reason why he won that Mr. Olympia, he was really big, his arms looked probably bigger than ever and fuller, so I think this was also a very good version of Hadi, but the 2024 Arnold Classic edition was definitely much more conditioned, much more polished, much more streamlined, you can see his arms right here, like they were not as full as they were back in 2022 when he won the Mr. Olympia, so I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think? Is he gonna do as well at the Mr. Olympia as he did at the Arnold? Is Hany Rambut actually right for saying that he would beat Derek Clansford? Because yeah, sure, he's peeled, he's detailed, he's rock hard, but how big of a role does the size play at the Mr. Olympia, you know, compared to other shows. But again, I feel like Hadi actually made improvements from Mr. Olympia to Arnold. Yeah, he came in super shredded, but I feel like his abdominal control was never better. I think he showed more details in the quads than ever before. And again, he's back. It wasn't only leaner, it was actually more developed. So if he is able, if he was able to make progress in like three months of basically prepping for the Iron Classic, how much more progress can he make before the Mr. Olympia? Look at this V-taper here, it was never like this before, his waist was never this small, and I think it's not only because he was more conditioned and he learned how to do a deeper vacuum, I think it's partly because his lats grew and they made a better V-taper, and also probably his legs were a little bit rounder as well. 
So overall, I have to say this was the best version of Hadi ever. He definitely did make improvements, but we'll see what's gonna happen at the Mr. Olympia. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.